Now let's explore a couple more of the Mother 32's sequencer's tricks, namely ratcheting, the ability to roll or repeat a note within a given step, for example, playing eighths or sixteenths inside the space of a quarter note, and glides, the ability to tie two notes together and slur in between them. Both of them happen to use the glide control on the front panel of the Mother 32. Now one thing I want to drive home is the importance of these eight LEDs right along here. They tell you several different things. In addition to what octave the live keyboard's playing, the red LED, and which bank of eight notes you're in, the green LED, these eight LEDs temporarily show the value of a parameter that you're editing, and also LEDs five, six, seven, and eight show you any special programming features on a given step in a sequence. You already saw in the prior movie that LED eight indicates whether or not there's a hold or a rest on a step, and LED seven indicates whether or not there's an accent, well, you'll learn in this movie that LED 6 indicates whether or not a ratchet has been programmed for a step, and LED 5 indicates whether or not there's a glide programmed. Okay, let's go ahead and put this into pattern slot number 5. I'm going to delete that pattern by pressing Shift Reset Pattern, and now we should just have our default sequence. And there it is. Except so my initial tempo. You can always change that during playback. Now what I want to record is a fairly simple four note phrase repeated twice. The ornamentations I want to add to the sequence is on that first phrase, I want to take this note and play twice, eighth notes rather than quarter notes, and then on the second pass through that phrase, I want to play this note four times. I have a hard time actually playing it because I'm not that good of a keyboardist, that's why machines come in handy. I also want to tie in between the fifth and sixth notes. Turn up glide on the Mother 32's front panel. I want that type of slurring, but just between select notes. I'll turn that back down for now. I'll enable recording by pressing shift and the run stop button, which doubles up as a record button. And you see it says step one is ready for me. I'll play my first note and change the gate length to I see two LEDs light up, indicating a fairly short note duration. I'll play the second note in my sequence. And in this case, I want a ratchet on that note, a little roll or repeat. To enter ratcheting, I hold the shift key and actually use the glide control and watch the status of these LEDs. I want one, two, three, or four repeats on that note. I'm going to set it for two repeats. And you notice that LED six is now lit, indicating I programmed a ratchet on this step. I'll enter the third note. It uses the previous duration that I entered. And then I'm going to enter this fourth note, but I like an accent to be on that note. I can enter accents manually, or if I have a velocity sensitive keyboard like I have here, softly played notes do not have accents, rapidly played notes do have accents. So I'll quickly strike this note. You heard the accent when I played it, it was a bit brighter and a bit louder, and you'll see LED 7 has lit up for this fourth step. Now let's do the second repetition of this pattern. I want to glide between the fifth and sixth notes. And to do that, I need to program three different things. One, I need to set my starting note to have a tie into the next note, maximum duration. I need to set my destination note to have a minimum duration so that it knows that that tie ends there. And then I need to program that there's going to be a glide going into that step. So I enter my fifth note, increase the gate length until all of the LEDs are on, indicating it ties into the next note, then enter my destination note and turn its duration all the way down to indicate the tie ends there. Finally, I'm going to use this glide control just to say there's a glide on that note. The Mother 32 does not remember the value of this glide control. It's just used to program whether glide is on or off. Then you can set the glide in real time when you're playing back the sequence. If I turn the glide all the way down, LED 5 is off, indicating no glide. But if I turn it up just a little, LED 5 goes on, indicating I am to glide into this note assuming that I programmed the duration for the previous note to be a tie, full duration, and the duration for this note to be minimum, so it ends here. Program my seventh note, and then program my eighth note, and again I want this to ratchet. So I press shift and glide until I see four LEDs, which indicates four notes play on that step. I'm all done, so I press run, stop, record one more time to seal off my sequence. And then to play back, I press run, stop again. So the ratcheting is pretty apparent. You can hear it and see it on the LEDs. And also LED 6 indicates that there's a ratchet on those steps. 
If I'm not hearing a glide, well, the Moza 32 does not automatically play back a glide until I set this knob to something other than its initial value. And there's my sequence. Before we do anything else, we need to remember to save our current sequence. I forget this all the time. I want to drill it into your head that you need to do this every time you wrap up a sequence. To save a sequence, you do the same thing you did to start a sequence, hold shift and record, but this time you hold it down for over a second until you see an LED start blinking. Once you do that, it's telling you what slot it's about to save into. If you want to save into that slot, just hold shift and record one more time, and now it's saved into that slot. If you want to save it into a different slot, maybe even a different bank, do shift and record for over a second until you see it blinking. Hold down shift and pattern bank to choose what bank you want to put it into. Maybe I wanted to put it into say bank four and then decide which pattern I want to save it into. And to change the pattern, I don't hold pattern and press a button. I use the up, down, increment buttons to set which pattern to save it into and shift record again. When I'm done, I'll go back to bank one and pattern five, which is where we were before. 